All right, this is Mega Moo's Chili Garden Tour. Start off with the ones that have just been potted up. Anims and Bacadams and there's a frutescent in there. Um, they're pretty young so there's not many pods. There's a purple tiger there and a uh, hot fish. And that's a cayenne yellow I think. And there's a cayenne red there. Hang on, what does that say? Oh, that's a Charleston hot. Charleston hot. Cayenne red. Um, is that Hungarian? Black. This one's a golden cayenne. They will need a bit of fertilizer. They're suffering a bit. There's a Ruga scorpion I rescued from Bunnings from Wildfire Chile. Just starting to um, ease into its pot after it was transplanted. Expecting to see it start doing something soon. A whole bunch of other ones. There's a scarlet lantern that I had in a pot. The pods ripened to this red colour. So I'll put him in a bigger pot because he he's a, a battler who deserved a bit more. Some um, jalapenos test ones that I used. Yeah, looking a bit scruffy. I recently picked them so there's not much left on them. There's a tomato that's just gone crazy. Uh, goat's weed, Bahamian bird pepper, another jalapeno, goat's weed, goat's weed, bendy goat's weed, mulatto, and here's a bunch of other ones, younger ones that I've put in the garden. They're starting to get a bit better, but they need fertilizer too. This one here, the um, habanero royo. He's um he's got a bit of aphids. He's a bit of an aphid party right now. I need to do something to him. I might have to just pull him out. I can't be stuck fighting him. I've already got a, a big ass rodeo in the other bed we'll get to. There's another jalapeno. Here's my giant Bujolokia. I say it's giant, the, the tree's giant, they're just normal pots. Something's eating him though. Here's one that's ripening. There's a little gecko. Where are you going? Um, something's eating the pod, there's just these little marks on them. It's almost like something tries to chew through it. And it gets a bit of the heat so it stops and then it comes back again and it's stupid. Let's see what we got here. This one's ripe. Come in. Yeah, see there's a little hole. It's actually gotten through. So there'll be a bug in there. That one's chucked. It's just a waste. Look at this one. Yeah, this sounds pretty good. He's a winner. Winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, and this guy's um, just decided to flower up like there's no tomorrow. So if everything at the top there happens, a crap load of pods. Some tomatoes, a row of tomatoes. That feels a bit of a shade screen. These are the ones that didn't make it, so I stopped watering them. They're just excess. Gotta chuck them out. Here's a uh, Chilaca Pasilla, which is um, got big pods despite the small small size of the plant because I did a did a layer of prawns down there. So he's um he's liking it. But you can see the growth at the top. It's a bit a bit mighty. This one definitely looks mighty, it's got that which is broom type twisty thing going on. It's a mulatto another go tweed. Bahamian bird pepper. He's got, I think, I did an experiment, I did layers of um, different materials to see how the plant would grow in it. I don't think it's working, because it's not happy. Here's another Butjolokia. This was always a tiny plant, but recently started to um, grow some, some guts. It's got a little pod there. There's a few, a few other ones in there. More jalapenos. These one, one of these has got some sort of sickness. Pods are all mottled all the time. There's a, that's what little kids do to your tags. Pull them all out so you don't know what's what. I'm pretty sure this is a fatale. And that stick there is a chocolate tally. And then that's, that's, I don't know what that is. Next one's a, I don't know what that one is. That one's a seven pot, yellow seven pot. And then the rest of them over there. They're really not doing that well because there's, there's nothing, no food in the soil. 
We're not getting fed anything. Had to spray them or something. All right, and there's the the big ones. That was the the bad. The, the small ones. Here we have the big ones. I should do a separate tour so I can get in and and really look at all the pods. I'll do another video because you know you can only upload small file sizes and stuff. The shade cloth has really made them sort of stretch out for the sun, and I've staked them all back underneath, and they've already pulled themselves out again. They just want that sun. They're bloody gangbusters. I love it. The yellow seven, seven bot here. He's um, I like this one at the end. He's doing real well. Got quite a lot of nice pods on him. This is an orange lantern, which is not doing well. You see those spindly little ends on him? And the pods are all munted and stunted and crappy. I think that's mites. Apparently these orange lanterns are a bit of a mite magnet. So I might pull that one out. If you, can, if you look along the row and you see all the little tags, you can see how close they are together. And they're all just basically a little highway for bugs. So I might pull out every second one. Pimenta Denade. Denade. He's, um, he's come back from, from being a stick after a storm, but not hasn't come back real well, so I'm not really sure what to do about him. I might get rid of this orange lantern, give him a bit of breathing space. Alright, I'll stop this and start a new video.